Trees for Ashari. I'm your host, Dr. Ashari, and I'm super delighted to be back with you. I know it seems like it's been a long, long time, but I thank God that I am well and things are focused and I am giving my all to the Lord in 2017. And I pray that you will give your all to the Lord in 2017. So let's jump right into His Word. But before we do, as always, let's pray. Most gracious and all wise God, creator of heaven and earth, Lord, we love you and we thank you. Father God, we thank you because you have given us another opportunity to give your name praise, to celebrate your son Jesus, and Lord, to study your word. Father, I ask you right now to create in me a clean heart and renew your right spirit within me. Father God, I thank you right now that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart are acceptable unto you. You're my strength and my redeemer. Lord, as your word goes forth, let it forever change lives. Let it be received in the spirit of excellence and thanksgiving. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Dear hearts, thank you again for tuning in. It is certainly a pleasure to be with you and to give you what God has laid on my heart for 2017. So, it's actually, we're going to pick up where we left off, and that's in Romans chapter 14. And so this is good living for us as Christians. Remember, this is to the church at Rome. And so where all the roads lead to Rome, they also lead out from Rome. And so God has given us this word for our own edification, for the building up of the church, even today. And so, let's read it. Chapter 14. Him that is weak in faith, receive ye, but not to doubtful disputation, disputations. For one believeth that he may eat all things, another who is weak eateth herbs. Let not him that eateth despise him that eateth not. And let him which eateth not judge him that eateth. For God hath received him. Who art thou? that judges another man's servant. To his own master he standeth or falleth. Yea, he shall be holden up, for God is able to make him stand. One man esteemeth one day above another. Another esteemeth every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. He that regardeth the day regardeth it unto the Lord. And he that regardeth not the day to the Lord, he doth not regard it. He that eateth, eateth to the Lord. For he giveth God thanks. And he that eateth not to the Lord, eateth not, and giveth God thanks. For none, now, um, let me read that verse 6 again. He that regardeth the day, regardeth it unto the Lord. And he that regardeth not the day to the Lord, he doth not regard it. He that eateth, eateth, eateth to the Lord. For he giveth God thanks. And he that eateth not to the Lord, he eateth not, and giveth God thanks. For none of us liveth to himself. And no man dieth to himself. For whether we live, we live unto the Lord. And whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live, therefore, or die, we are the Lord's. For to this end, Christ both died and rose and revived, that he might be Lord both of the dead and the living. But why dost thou judge thy brother? Or why dost thou set at naught thy brother? For he, for we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. For it is written, As I live, saith the Lord, Every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to God. So then, Every one of us shall give account to himself, of himself to God. Let us not therefore judge one another any more, but judge this rather, that no man 
put a stumbling block or an occasion to fall in his brother's way. I know, I am persuaded by the Lord Jesus that there is nothing unclean of itself. But to him that esteemeth anything to be unclean to him, it is unclean. But if thy brother be grieved with thy meat, now walkest thou not charitably. Destroy not him with thy meat, for whom Christ died. Let not your good be evil spoken of. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. For he that in these things serveth Christ is acceptable to God and approved of men. Let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace and the things wherewith one may edify another. For meat destroyeth the work of God. All things indeed are pure, but it is evil for that man who eateth with offense. It is good neither to eat flesh, nor to drink wine, nor anything whereby thy brother stumbleth, or is offended, or is made weak. Hast thou faith? Have it to thyself before God. Happy is he that condemneth not himself in that thing which he alloweth. And he that doubteth is damned if he eat, because he eateth not of faith. For whatsoever is not of faith is sin. God's precious and beautiful word for our edification this day. What he is letting us know is, if we encounter a brother, in verse 1, him that is weak in the faith, receive ye, but not to doubtful disputations. What God is letting us know is, we are to receive each other in the love of Jesus Christ. It's not to be on our own, but in the love of Jesus Christ, now that God has put his love on the inside of us, this is for those who are already saved. When God has put his love on the inside of us, we are to function from the standpoint of love in everything that we do. And so even if we see another person who is of the faith, but may be a little weaker than where you are. Because remember, one day you were weak also. And actually there is always someone who has met, um, stronger faith, greater faith than what we do. So that we're not all at the same place. But God, He is the one who is the controller of all of us. When we look at eating and drinking and giving up the day, it is because God has given it, given it to us. We are all the same in Christ Jesus. We may be at different levels, but as long as we're in Christ Jesus, we're all the same in the sight of God. As his servants, those things that are common to us are eating. As long as we're here on this earth, everybody has to eat. And everybody gets a date. And we don't know which day is our last day, but the common things that we have is food, hallelujah. And the other common thing that we have is the day. And God is the one who gives it all. God is saying to us that it's all good. It's what you have in your heart and in your mind and what level you're at in Him. We're not to condemn each other, but we're to build each other up. And if we know that we're doing something that is actually going to make another brother or sister feel weak, or make them stumble, or make them doubt, or make them turn from Jesus, then we're at fault. God is saying, give our all to Him this year. In 2017, give our all to Him. Not giving any kind of look at another cross-eyed, or look at another with any type of judgment, but we are to build each other up in these last and evil days. We need each other. We are here to be arm in arm, locked together as a, a, a commanded front 
so that whenever Satan is trying to get through, we cannot allow it. Because that love, love covers a multitude of sin. Each of us have been given the measure of faith by God himself. So now, walk out on faith, knowing that you are giving love to your brother. Not that it's, we're condoning sin. All of us have a standard to live by. And as we live by those things that are essential, the essentials are in the Bible. The essentials are those things that God has commanded us to do. The non-essentials are what we eat and how we eat it or where we eat it. Those are non-essentials. So we are to do everything with pure love because everything is of God. This year, put God first. Always knowing that no matter what the outcome is, you want to make sure that you're doing what God has told you to do. And that is to be loving one to another. Love, love, love. And as he tells us here, in this verse, for verse 17, for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. This year, make it your total aim to live with righteousness. That's right standing with God. Doing what he said to do. Not looking down our noses at anyone or condemning anybody. But just living in that righteousness and in peace. He commands us to live in peace with all men. Not just with those who are of the faith. But he says with all men. And then joy. Joy is something that's on the inside. That no one can take away because it's part of the fruit of the Spirit that is God. Hallelujah. So now, live. Live 2017 in love, joy, peace, righteousness, and faith in God. This year, make it your best year yet. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ, now is the time to do so. He is waiting for you with outstretched arms. He is waiting, wanting you to come to Him. And He'll show you. He's the master of us all. We all get to sit at the table. And He may serve one thing to one and something else to another. But it's all coming from God. And so when we stand before Him, as everyone will, and then every knee will bow, we know because we just read He said it. In Romans 14, every knee shall bow and confess. And so when you confess the Lord Jesus Christ to him, he'll say, come on in, welcome. But if you don't receive him on this side of the grave, then there's no hope. This is our hope right now, the hope of glory in Christ Jesus don't you accept him? All you have to do, he's made it so easy, so simple, that even a little baby, a little child can say it and believe it and then live it out every day. All you have to do is say it and then live it daily. And he'll walk with you and guide you. He's given us his Holy Spirit, that peace, that righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. He has given us the best gift. After our salvation, then we have the Holy Ghost to live in us, guiding us daily. Say this prayer with me and mean it from your heart and make 2017 the best year of your life. Dear Lord, I am a sinner and I'm in need of a Savior. I ask you now to come into my heart and totally change me. Lord, I thank you that you cleaned me. And now I am brand new. I am so sorry for all of the sin I have done. I repent of it all. I thank you now that you've washed me clean. In Jesus' name, amen. Now get ready for him to live with you, in you, with you every day. And those who are already Christians, thank you right now for making a new commitment, a new vigor 
of serving the Lord and not condemning our brothers nor our sisters, that we walk arm in arm as a unified front as we tell others about Jesus Christ. Live by faith and watch God turn your whole situation around. God bless you and happy 2017.